cleansing the deck. Glorious stadium, my friends. Using Palo Santo and frankincense and myrrh. Welcome to the angel inspiration reading. The guidance. For the week, Monday, July 12th through Sunday, July 18th. And they wanted two candles today. And Lemurians, Lemurian, 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 and uh, singing Lemurian, holding down the fort, holding down the uh, the book, Neokataka, and Aragonite, that's what they said they wanted. And joining us is... <laughs> Lavender from my garden, as well as my pocket stones, lapis, numite, rose quartz, rainbow moonstone, and selenite, and the Kanamara marble, son of the sea, and the Reku Hamsa, and Angel So let's get into the reading. Niokuta in my pocket angel. There we go. What is the main inspiration? The heart of the matter for this week. Be discerning. Pops out right away. Be discerning. Number 13. What do you see in there for you? With our heart. Can we be discerning with our heart instead of our mind? And what do you see in there for you? Discernment, it is always... <laughs> Always good inspiration. When you find the mind and the heart, the discernment is in alignment. So please, what is uh, some inspiration? Oh, <laughs> as we invite and allow the holy fire to flow in through and around in every way and everywhere and everywhere. I did clear the area beforehand and I did call on the Holy Fire beforehand. And we invite in our angels. And the archangels. The seraphim. Asking for inspiration, for our highest good, and the highest good of all. Is there additional information for the heart of the matter since we called them in afterwards? We'll give a couple of shuffles here and we'll see if something pops out. This is a stack deck anyway. So So they're satisfied with that. So now Inspiration for the East. For the earth. For the new for the new dawn. For the physicality. And two jump out. We got faith and courage. Two great things. Number 39 and number 40. <laughs> Can we discern with faith and courage? And what do we see in these images for you. Ukuchiara is kahananaria retiki is katiara. So kura te kiriara tata. And notice the colors. They're they're pointing out the colors at this point. 
sa faith in dark times ni akutukara in the courage of compassion and unconditional love ni akutukara so we're going to do this we're going to do this they're together so there's just a minor overlap if i can actually do it ni akutukara wata ti yara nani yara takasukara kushukura wara takiara tata so ka ahan hasi siara ti tiara kacha atara takata okay ni kata ara nani ni ara to kush kwariska infinite gratitude ni kata kara warseki ha ha na hasi siara ta and now we ask for inspiration of the south ni kata kara har takana ni ara ta inspiration of the fire ni kata kara wata of the passion ni kata yere sakata ta and of the changes in life and of the height of life ni katisha kise well we're going to peek at these they're they they didn't fly out but seek enlightenment and archangel jophiel ni katakara ya na 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 ti katayara tata so a little little peek ni katakara tati rasakata so we're going to put them back in jophiel okay another peek and zadkiel jophiel <laughs> And Jophiel is the beauty of God. And seeking enlightenment. That's kind of an oxymoron. Because when we seek it, we keep it away from us. Because the truth is, <laughs> we are. The enlightenment, ni kachara wa tatiri aratata. And cherish innocence, ni katakari aratana ni aratata. Number 19, ni akutukara wa tatiri arasaka nananata. And what do you see in this? Ni akahasha shishiwiyo tatokora sisiwiyo. And notice the flame, the candle, ni akachara tasahi atohua. This childlike innocence. They're asking us to cherish the innocence and being the innocence in, uh, in the passions and our desires. What we're sending out to the universe. To me, that means don't overthink it. This innocence is so important for us to have. Love unashamed, unabashed, with the childlike innocence that's in her heart. Have you ever seen kids play in the pay- playground? They don't care who they're playing with. Hey, let's play. It's the same thing with what your heart truly wants to create. Don't overthink it. Where's that childlike innocence that you can bring forth in the fire in what you wish to create? There. That's more. More balance for me. Gratitude. <laughs> Our friends, inspiration for the West, please. For the water, for the nurturing, for the emotions. Emotional inspiration, nurturing, going with the flow. So, of the water, it's so well, we'll take a sneak peek. Face your challenges. Number 15. And we're going to put that sucker right back in. Okay. 
Niti Kita in friendship, number 37. It almost popped out. So we give it, we give it a say. <laughs> There's lots of advice for nurturing. <laughs> As I chuckle, there we go. In forgiveness. Can you nurture forgiveness? Number 38. Can you let forgiveness flow? Because why do you want to carry that burden? I have no idea why this is coming up. But what does it mean for you? And the only thing that keeps coming up with the forgiveness is how does it feel to carry that burden, to carry that anger, to carry that fear, to carry whatever it is that's holding you back that is asking for forgiveness. This was one of the keys in my life. There was a bone of contention years ago. And on principle, I wanted to stick by and say no, 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 no. But I got to the point where I did not want to have that anger to keep that protection. I didn't want to keep fighting. So I forgave and I gave it up. I don't regret the decision. And I no longer carry that burden. That's what forgiveness is all about. Can you nurture forgiveness? Can you let it flow? Can you let forgiveness find the path of least resistance? Interesting how we're going to wrap this whole thing up. Inspiration for the North, please. Of the air, of the ideas, of the intellect, of the mind, of the plan that we're going to bring into fruition with our passion in the flow with the universe. Inspiration for the North, please. Well, we're going to flash those cards, but be strong. So that's both the idea of strength. You are strong. Maybe we can reinforce this with affirmations how do you see this angel being strong on a rock in tree pose pouting tree pose <laughs> with arms crossed on a rock in the wavy lake beneath the mountain which to me this always looks like Shasta, and Shastina in the background. But what is it? What do you see in it for you? For the air, for the intellect, being strong in the mind. So. Out of curiosity, let us look at these 
And we'll put these over here. I'm curious. Compassion is on the bottom. Did you see that? Compassion is always, 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 always <laughs> epic. Again, seek enlightenment. We seek enlightenment. We simply allow enlightenment. <laughs> now guess what and it's seek within because that's where we seek enlightenment and we don't seek it we don't find it we become it that light within that seems to be cloaked and greet the dawn, the new day, number 23. The new now. And check your emotions. Number 32. So to me, with this meditation, all this says is meditate. Asking us to meditate. We're asking ourselves to meditate. In this, to me, in meditation 32, check your emotions, is the monkey mind. And when we meditate, our mind is active. And a simple technique to return to the meditation is allow that idea that popped in that has nothing to do with your meditation. Simply Return your focus back to your breath and back to the visualization. And this idea will <laughs> release itself. It will go away when it's ready to. That's okay. We don't need to be in focus. Seek enlightenment within. Are we going to focus? Is it close yet? Okay, at least it's trying to focus at this point. <laughs> it's amusing yet not amusing. We're just going to keep talking then. Interesting. There we go. Ooh, thank you. So we have the, at the heart of the matter, the central issue being discerning and since it's in the heart center here allow our heart to be discerning with faith and courage bringing that into the physicality and the new now while cherishing innocence with our flames of desire and going with the flow and nurturing forgiveness and being strong mentally focused with the idea devoted loving devotion stay lovingly devoted to your heart center stay lovingly devoted to that you wish to create be lovingly devoted to being in alignment with your heart center be lovingly devoted to God. God lives in the heart center.
Nihachara tahare as the fire flows, Nikachara wata tikur wata anora. Kashashashishia katatara katana harskahia tuko. Hasahariera takananata. Arhakai. Kashahata tahariara tana kaya titiara wata kucho. Huka awara tananari. Hasha ariara takaya tukoa. Kashahananata titiara takataka taka. Kacha arataka kora kananawurku. So thank you for joining me in my highest bliss. Nika tukura wata aria kananata kata kora tukurusuko. Namaste, my friends. Nika takari arata kananata kotoko. And make it a great week. Nika tia kara nananiya rataka. Because why would you leave it up to any one else.